I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 25 of our Pokemon Sword Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we made it through Route 7, finally finished exploring that. Then we explored about half of Route 8, caught several new Pokemon, and that's pretty much it. Uh, let's do a quick team recap here before we get started and continue our adventure. Uh, so, of course, we have Einstein, a.k.a. Ore Beetle. We have Struggle Bug, Reflect, Shadow Ball, Psychic, holding that silver powder. We have Adam, a.k.a. Uh, Colossal. Almost almost called him Roly Coley, because Adam Roly Coley, baby, no longer exists. But it is Colossal with Ancient Power, uh, Flame Charge, Rapid Spin, and Incinerate, holding them wise glasses. We have Broly, a.k.a. Uh, Rillaboom. I have to think about that. I always want to call him Willaboom for some reason, but it's Rillaboom. With Uproar, Drum Beating, uh, Magical Leaf Knockoff with that Miracle Seed. We have Sasuke the Corviknight with Drill Peck, Steel Wing, Power Trip, Home Claws holding that uh, Sharp Beak. Nico Knee, aka Morgrim. Did I get it right this time? I sure did. With Drenny Kiss, Sucker Punch, Torment, Dark Pulse. Does it have an item? It doesn't have an item. And then, of course, we have Nozomi, the Toxtricity, uh, with Nuzzle, uh, Discharge, Poison Jab, and Acid holding that item, which is an item. It is Magnets. I couldn't think of it for a second. And that is our squad that we have here. Uh, very, my, very much fancy, this squad. I don't know if I want to change it at all, but there's still so many more Pokemon um, out there that I don't even know. Like... There's still so much to explore. We only have five badges. We're on our way to get our sixth gym badge. There's still so much to explore. I mean, it's just insane, the amount of Pokemon in this game. I love it, though, man. I absolutely love it. We got a Diglett. Uh, well, it's a Duck Trio actually. Oh, man, I never noticed that before. That's really cool. I don't even know if we're in the right area. I think I flew here just to buy uh, some Ultra Balls or something. Yeah, we're not quite... We need to go to Hammerlock. Um... So that's on me. That's my bad. That's on me. But we're heading over to uh, Route 7, then to Route 8, uh, where we've explored most of the route, I think. We got about, actually, about probably about halfway through. Um, so this episode will probably be us just exploring Route 8. Because there's just so much to explore. I find, like, I find it hard to believe, like, the amount of time I've put into this game already. I've been playing this game for the last four days nonstop. Um... The game came out Friday, it's Monday, and I feel like I'll record like four episodes in a sitting, and like I've made like some progress, you know, like not even that much progress, because there's so much to to explore, so many Pokemon to capture. I don't even know if we have um, Boldor yet. Was he one that we didn't capture? I think, I think he was one we didn't capture. There were a couple that we saw that we haven't captured yet. Boldor may have been one of them. Uh, no, we do have Boldor. I know we have Golette, the best a man can get. We have two of them, actually. <laughs> um, Alright, so how do we... Okay, we... Oh, Ponyard. I, don't... I know we don't have Ponyard. I really like Ponyard, man. I know there's some people that just dislike it. Like, my friend AJ hates Bisharp. Uh, dude, I can't... I don't get that. I just don't get it. I think Bisharp's such a cool Pokemon. Like, seriously. It reminds me so much of Proto Man, and I'm a huge Proto Man fan. Lowers that special attack. It's got Defiant, though, so it's going to power it up. As a tech set, that is. Goes for Night Slash. It's going to be super effective and do. I'm going to say a tremendous amount of damage. Yeah, it knocked us out. Um, Do you think he could live a nuzzle from this range? Probably. We're going to go for it. Because if we get the para, we should be in good shape to capture this thing. We still don't have any quick balls. Um, I need to go back into the wild and just like check the shops every so often. I don't know when they change. I haven't looked up too much stuff, honestly. Because I'm afraid if I do, I'm going to see like a thumbnail to a YouTube video or like a picture or a screenshot or something of a Pokemon that I don't want to see yet. You know what I mean? Like that's my biggest fear. So I haven't really looked up too many things. 
Um, I'm trying to think, have I looked up anything at all since since looking up the uh, the shiny hunting guide? And really, all I saw was a little chart. I couldn't really make heads or tails of it, and I was like, you know what? I'll deal with that once we beat the game. I'll worry about shiny hunting another day. Because I don't quite understand it, and I know if I look, there's going to be someone chaining a Pokemon. Like, what the hell is that Pokemon? Uh, Ponyard, the sharp blade Pokemon. It uses river stones to maintain the cutting edges of the blades covering its body. These sharpened blades allow it to bring down opponents. Love Ponyard. I want a shiny Ponyard. I do. Speaking of shiny Pokemon. Um, have we gone up here? Yeah, we did. There was just a billboard up here. No, we're good. We've been up there. Uh, Girder, I'm not sure if we caught yet either. Maybe we have. Yo, look at Adam. We have not captured it yet, so we will try to do so now. Uh, let's send with that incinerate. He's gonna be super effective against us, though. I still, I still stand by the fact that I think Roly Coley's uh, line is one of my favorites so far in this game. Um, definitely, I think what I rank it number three. I just, I, I love the names <laughs> almost more than the Pokemon themselves, but I do love the Pokemon as well. I would probably go, as of right now, Grookey's line. I like uh, Rookie D's line, number two. Number three is probably Roly Coley. Uh, number four, as f from what I can see, um, of other Pokemon I've seen, I know there's a lot more I haven't seen yet. Um, I really enjoy uh, Score Bunny's evolutionary line as well, so that would probably be number four for me right now, as far as new Pokemon go. Alright, um... Would I have a number five off the top of my head? You know, I have high hopes for Impidimp. But I haven't seen his final evolution yet. I've seen his second form. We have Togedomaru, I think. I'll double check. I know we ran into him. I'm not sure if we caught him or not off the top of my head. I did this earlier today, even. <laughs> like, I encountered him earlier today. But it was like 10 hours ago. So, yeah. My mind's been all over the place since then. I've been all over the place since then. So I don't know if I had him or not. So we don't. I like uh, Toxel's uh, evolutionary line, though it's just uh, one evolution. Um, I do like Toxtricity. Toxtricity, obviously, it's on the team. But I think it would have been so much cooler if he was just like this badass Triceratops Pokemon. Oh, for a hot second, I thought that was a Toxicroak down there. For some reason, but it's not. Oh yeah, we gotta catch that army Pokemon. I have him on my other version on uh, Pokemon Shield. Got him in a raid. As I mentioned a few episodes back. Probably several episodes back now. That it was uh, somewhat spoiled for me. Well, I mean, I, I got to see it and it was, I was excited to see it because I thought it was cool. But, uh... I wanted to obviously catch it on a camera. And I didn't. And I knew that that was a risk I was willing to take because I wanted to try the raids out. Um, you know, I had a couple friends on, they wanted to try it out, so I was like, you know what, screw it, let's just do some raids. You know, what's the worst that could happen? And then I got spoiled from it. But honestly, I'm surprised, I've done a lot of raids now, and I'm surprised of the, uh, lack of Pokemon that have been, uh, exposed to me. Though, to be fair, we've basically just been doing, like, two-man, three-man raids, and then that, and the, uh, CPUs fill. Um, we haven't done too many five-star raids, we did a couple. Um, I'm a little under-leveled for them, but my buddy who's completed the game, he's not. And, uh, basically he's carrying us with a Sitmon Lee. <laughs> That's level 100. And, uh... So we've done Vile Plume level 5. We've done a, uh... This is Phalanx, by the way. New Pokemon. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if he evolves or not. I haven't checked. I haven't leveled him up at all. I li literally put him in my box. Never touched him. Didn't want to touch him. Uh, he's a fighting type, though. I do know that much. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we got a 5-star uh, Vile Plume, which we beat barely, by the way. Um, and a 5-star um, Corviknight, which we got earlier today, actually. I'm trying, is that, is that all we got 5-star wise? I think so. There may be one more that I'm missing, but it was nothing like crazy. Vile Plume was definitely the coolest one that we've gotten so far. Corviknight already have one on that version, because I used Corviknight on that version and this version. Um... Basically, on my other game, on Pokemon Shield, I only used Pokemon that were older Pokemon or Pokemon that I've already used here. And I really like uh, um, 
Rookity's line, so I kept Rookity on the team. But I think that's the only Pokemon that's repeat. I have like a Lombre, uh, which I need to evolve to Ludicolo. It's like level 40. <laughs> um, obviously, I have Score Buddies Evolution in there. Um, I forget its name. It's like no, that's uh, it's something Ace, like Incinor Ace or something like that. It's close. Um. So I have those on the team. I have an Eevee that I'm trying to evolve into a Sylveon. It has the Soothe Bell on it now. It's got to be close to evolving. So that's four. I'm trying to remember who's all on the team. Oh, I put a Galarian um, Ponyta. Now, I haven't seen Rapidash yet. I haven't seen Rapidash yet. But I just caught the uh, Ponyta right, uh, right before we got it to the 5th uh, gym, which is kind of where I left off. And I don't really plan on training it, but it's in the party because I just really like uh, Galarian Ponyta. But I haven't, like, used it or anything. Um, I was actually very sad that it was on the uh, Shield version, because I knew I was going to be playing the Sword version. And, like, legitimately because of Galarian Ponyta, I almost swapped versions. On which one I was gonna play on, uh, I almost said on stream on camera. So, I don't know. I would like to see what Rapid Ash looks like. I'm hoping we run into it on this version, so I don't have to only see it on that version. But I think what I might do, we've caught Rhyhorn. I think what I might do is I might just record myself when I'm uh, playing that game. That just in case it does evolve, then you guys can get my initial reaction at least, and I can like splice it in somewhere. I think that's what I'll end up doing, but uh, I'm not going to actively try to evolve it, though. It's just, if it happens, it happens, I guess. Togedemaru, Solrock. My live concert's open to all, and you'll be attending, yo. So we got Musician Charles here. For the Togedemaru. One of my Pokemon's knocked down. I need to go heal it up. Maybe oh, she's a revive. We got a, a handful of them. Flame, but it. Oh yeah. So then there's one other Pokemon. Who is it? On the team. Thank you. What is the other Pokemon on my team? Oh, it's him on Lee. It's him on Lee. Because I kind of tied Rogue in the wild, and I was like, screw it, we'll just keep it on the team uh, for now. And, uh, I didn't even check it, so I was like, whatever it evolves into is just going to stick, I don't really care. And it ended up being a hit on leave. Oh, there's a Crustle back there, we do want that, we don't have one of those yet. Um, oh, it's another, uh, Finks, Flinks, Finks, Flanks, whatever the hell his name is. We got a Nugget, we'll definitely take that. We got a King's Rock. Definitely take that. Um, but who evolves with the King's Rock? Anybody? It might just be a crit item in this game. Because I haven't seen Poliwag or Slowpoke yet. Oops. Unless someone else evolves with the King's Rock, which is certainly a possibility. We're running to Crustle here. I'm trying to think who else would evolve by a King's Rock. I don't know. Oh, well, either way, we have it, and we're gonna need it at, you know, at some point if we have to evolve with it. If not, like I said, it's just a crit item. All right, so uh, Adam's gonna go down here. I forgot to revive my other Pokemon that's knocked out, which is Einstein. Uh, let's go to Bro. Oh no, hold on. I gotta be careful because I don't want to knock this thing out. I want to catch it. Ah, look how cool Broly is, man. Just such a cool Pokemon. I say it all the time, but just because look at him, dude. I, I cannot, I will not accept anybody telling me that any of the other three starters, oh my god, they did a lot of damage, is better looking than him. There's just no way. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't believe it. Maybe Cinderace is his name. Maybe Cinderace? The bunny? Because I do like the bunny, but. Um, what's Inteleon? I literally had my buddy, one of my buddies tell me today, 
um, my friend AJ, he literally told me, um, he said, get a ditto. I need, I cannot play this game with this Pokemon. Get me a Grookey. <laughs> I cannot. He, he is not happy with the uh, Inteleon at all. I don't think he looks that bad. I saw a leak, or what was supposedly a leak of him, a few weeks ago. And honestly, the leak looked worse. So maybe that's why like, my expectations were so low when I saw it. I was like, that's not that bad. It's not great. It's certainly... Amongst all the starter Pokemon, would I say it's the worst out of all of them? You know, from all generations? Sobble's cute. Sobble's cute. Um, Sobble's evolution is okay. I'm trying to think. Would I put a different Pokemon and say it's worse? I don't know. I really, I'm trying to think of any other, like, I don't really care for Superior or Snivy at all, or Servine. I think it's an okay, but I think it's kind of a, a bland Pokemon, you know? Um, like, even Primarina, I think, is okay. I'm not a huge fan, but I think, like, I like using the Pokemon, though. It's a fun Pokemon to use, at least. And its design isn't the worst, it's just not my favorite Pokemon in the world. It would definitely be on the lower end of, uh, of my favorite Pokemon list. If I were to rank every single Pokemon. Yeah, I honestly think Inteleon might be, in my opinion, the worst looking starter Pokemon in the entire Pokemon series. And I think that's a bold statement to make because I know there's some Sobble squads out there. Um, that love Sobble, and they might only like Inteleon because they love Sobble so much. But I'm sorry, guys. Inteleon is not a good-looking Pokemon. Crustle, the stone home Pokemon. Oh, <coughs> let me let me do this properly. Crustle, the stone home Pokemon. This highly territorial Pokemon prefers dry climates and won't come out of its boulder on rainy days. I wonder why. I wonder why it won't come out. Maybe it's because it's a rock Pokemon. Um, we got a TM here. We got Brick Break. That's actually a pretty good TM to have. Okay, I'm mad at that. Can I teach Brick Break to anybody on the team? I would think so. I could teach it to Broly. Would I rather have Brick Break or Uproar? I think I'd rather have... Well, yeah, I think I'd rather have Brick Break. Uproar does more base damage, but our physical attack is so much higher than our special attack. I think Brick Break's good. Plus, we don't really have any fighting types or fighting moves or anything on our team. So it can be very handy against, like, normal type Pokemon. If we're going up against, like, a Steel, a steel Pokemon. Alright, so we'll talk to them in a minute, because I don't think we fully explore everything. I do want to heal our Pokemon. But I think the town is right next to us. Like, I think we're so close to it. I don't want to waste any items, and I don't want to waste the time to go, to go backwards. You know what I mean? Alright, we caught Soul Rock, right? I want to double check. I actually haven't came out here yet on my other version, so I don't know if Lunatone's out here. But I 100% expect it. I 100% expect, expect to see Lunatone out here on um, Pokemon Shield. Yeah, we've already caught Soul Rock. I thought we did. Oh, that's a powerful Ponyard. Wait, what? What? Is that? Oh, that's the evolution of the other snake Pokemon. I was running into a Ponyard and this thing popped up, so I was confused. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. Is this the full evolution? Is there a third evolution? Well, not third evolution, but a third Pokemon in the uh, evolutionary line? Why well, Sam Nekonda don't want none unless you got fun, son. Y'all know the drill. So it's a ground type. We know that much. I guess we'll go for Stillwing. I do want to catch this. Sand Spit. Oh, does it make a sandstorm? Then you guys know what time it is. <coughs> it doesn't matter what we go for. I was going to go for uh, Honeclaws, but I clicked A too early. 
We'll go for a drill pick. I'll do a little bit more damage. I'm hoping it doesn't KO. It doesn't. Perfect. It goes for dig again. I don't remember. Can I throw a Pokeball at a Pokemon that dug? I don't know. So I'm not going to throw an Ultra Ball. I'll throw a regular Pokeball. Yeah, at least it gives you a warning ahead of time. We'll go for Home Claws then, I guess. I'll go for an Ultra Ball. It's definitely a cool Pokemon. I think it could have looked better, though. And if that's the final evolution, eh, not crazy about it. I think it's very okay. I'll put it this way. It's no Arbok, and it's certainly no Surviper. As far as uh, the Snakes rankings go. I mean, is it better than Superior? I don't think it is. I think it's the worst Snake Pokemon in the whole class. Across all of Pokemon. I might be forgetting a snake Pokemon off the top of my head, but Nasty Plot's cool. Would I use that over Torment? Probably. So Nico Nee learns the Nasty Plots. Sandakana, the sand snake Pokemon. When it contracts its body, over 220 pounds of sand sprays from its nose. If it ever runs out of sand, it becomes disheartened. Such an interesting, weird Pokemon. I hope it evolves one more time because that that form's kind of disappointing. I want to look at the Pokedex and see if there's a Pokemon already after it. If you see what I'm saying, we've done that a few times. Um, is it near the bottom? No, it's not. Okay. Well, it's hard to say. I mean, Toxo's only a one-stage evolution. It's possible. I mean, either A, this is a three-stage, which I hope it is. Or, uh, and then this is like a two-stage evolution or two solos. That's uh, two solos. Two uh, Pokemon that can evolve. I don't know. Uh, if I had a quick ball, I'd go off that Ponyard, but I, I can't bother right now. You can compare life to a journey, but the end of your life isn't as something as a journey's goal. I butchered that statement. But right on, Barbara. Dreepy. What the hell is that? What in the... <laughs> what is that? It looks like a mixture of Grovile and Yanma, kinda. Is that a dragon? What is that? I'm interested. So Dreepy, huh? Kinda reminds me of Flygon a little bit too. Well, we just knocked it out in one hit. Was that a Volibee it said? It is a Volibee, okay. That's cool. I like Mandibuzz, I don't like Volibee at all. Not a fan of Volibee really. And on top of that, I think their counterpart, Braviary, way cooler. Way cooler Pokemon. Sasuke grows to level 43, and Barbara has been defeated. Even if you fail, it's not the end. You can stand up and fight back. I mean, you could. But you would just fail again. But you can rematch me anytime you want, Barbara. Got that big nugget. Um... Can we get that bucket? It looks like a bucket you can grab over there, eh? I don't know. But either way, we're gonna come over here. Let's see what's going on over here. Or more trainers. Oh, it's a double team battle. <laughs> I'm super cute, but I'm carrying super duper strong Pokemon. To see it as a businessman depends on communication. I get along perfectly with my Pokemon. So we have co colleagues Allison and Jordan. Hippowdon and Exadrill. Wow, Hippowdon. Now I've seen Drillbers, obviously, but I've not seen any... Uh, 
hippopotamuses. I, I, I can't pronounce his name. I'm not even gonna try. I can pronounce Hippaldon, but like Hippopotatus, uh, it ain't happening, Chief. Maybe if I heard someone say its name, I would uh, probably get it. Um, I mean, I don't know. I should probably switch out Nico Knee to be honest. But you know what? F it. Goes for middle claw after Nico Knee, and that's what I was worried about. <laughs> Sandstorm's gonna knock me out if uh, Hippaldon doesn't. We get a Dark Pulse off at least. Maybe we can punch him. Goes for Crunch. Are oh, you trying to bite a metal bird? That's a bad idea, man. Alright, so Nico Knee's gonna go down. Uh, let's bring out the one, the only, oh god, the one and only Pokemon we have left. I didn't realize Broly was knocked out too. Jeez, I should have filled my Pokemon a long time ago. We're in trouble. Because uh, Nozomi is about to get bodied here. Absolutely dis demolished. Um, I need a Drill Pack maybe. Um, poison Jab? You, I can't do anything to you. Now that I think about it. Um... Why don't I heal you? I think I think Sasuke could take these two out. Goes for dig. I don't like where this is going because it's definitely digging um, towards Nozomi. 100%. Not a doubt in my mind. And it's going to KO uh, Nozomi easily. Ah, knows me. I'm so sorry. They have more Pokemon. Oh boy, I thought they only had one each. Okay, um, that's a problem. That is a problem. Everything here is a problem. Okay, how about we home claws? And how about I revive a Pokemon? Because I think we're gonna need it. Uh, let's bring back uh, Broly. So Berserker goes. I love the name Berserker. Goes for Dig. A lot of great names in this uh, generation of Pokemon. I think I think I like Berserker more than I like uh, Persian. Any variation of Persian. I don't know, man. I'm digging it. All right, Broly's coming out to play. You guys done messed up now. We're going to go for a Drill Peck on Exadrill. We're going to go for a uh, Brick Break. Good thing we learned that move on Berserker. Oh, boy. Bopski. Berserker is still standing. Drill Peck comes right after the Exadrill. Um, and Exadrill goes down. No problem. Broly goes level 44. Berserker goes for Swagger. Raising our attack very nicely, but uh, we're also confused. We came by the little sandstorm. Out comes Lucario. Lucario's in the game. That's cool. I like Lucario a lot. I mean, it makes sense. Lucario, at this point, is almost the face of Pokemon. Like, it's a big representative of Pokemon, I feel like, at this point in its life. Because uh, it's in Smash Brothers. It's very recognizable. Um, it's obviously not near as the, on the level of a Pikachu, or even an Eevee at this point, but Lucario's, hey, Lucario's got a spot, man. I think Lucario's a cool, uh, Pokemon. Although, I'm not gonna lie, it'd be really cool to see a, uh, Galarian Lucario. But, uh, regular Lucario is just as cool. Goes for Metal Claw. Interesting choice. Sandstorm has subsided just in time. For us to kick Lucario's butt. We're gonna go for a Drill Peck. And, uh, we're gonna go for a little drum beating. Maybe. Nope.
But it don't matter because Sasuke is a beast. They're four strong and cute. I'll sell this victory to you. I'm short on pocket change. Alright, are there any items over here? Oh, there's a little path over here. And we found terrain extender. Oh, okay. I guess I see. I see. That's cool. Alright, so let's pop in the uh, tent real fast. I just want to see if there's any Pokemon in here. That's interesting to see. It's always fun to look in here. Oh, she's got a full Eevee. Oh. She's got the best Pokemon in the game, Glaceon. Unfortunately, she also has the worst evolution as well. Jolteon. Oh, well, there's... there. Oh, man. We're Sylveon! Sylveon's the second best evolution. What are you doing? If you want to... Hey, listen. Trainer. Whoever you're... What's your name? Did you say your name was Laura? Lisa. Listen, Lisa. A word of advice. You want more people to come to your tent? Ditch the nasty Jolteon. Bring in the Sylveon. I'm kidding, I like Jolteon. But he is my least favorite evolution. Anywho, let's go to town finally. So this is Sir Chester. Oh no, we're in round 8. We're not even... Okay, so we're not at the town yet. We need to heal our Pokemon ASAP. Ah, uh, can we... Alright, is it better for us to Pokemon camp? If we Pokemon camp, can we revive our Pokemon? I don't know how this works. I've never really done this before. Be gentle with me. Uh, cooking. Your curry will get more delicious if you choose to do things like rare ingredients. Those are cooking with family flames. Okay, after you finish cooking, it's time for everyone to dig in together. Uh, I'll put one of the things, including restoring their HP and making them feel more friendly towards you. How delightful. I want to start cooking. After we check our ingredients. Alright, we got some great ingredients. The best ingredients of all, uh, of Pokemon. Start cooking. Let's do it. So. One of the many ingredients that could be used for cooking at your camp that you carefully, carelessly pick. Okay. Okay. We'll go with the root. Alright, so we got some. We can uh, restore some HP with some warm berries, right? I don't know if that affects anything or not. Screw it, let's throw all of them in there. You know what? Bang! Let's throw in some chilling berries. And you know what? I'm feeling a little froggy. I'm feeling a little froggy. Let's throw in a Persum Berry. Uh, you know what? I think we're good. I'm ready. Let's start cooking, baby. Now look at Adam in the background looking revived. I don't know what I'm doing here, but uh, do I just push it as fast as possible? Or do I go with the rhythm of the way the control is going. I think it's got to push as fast as possible. We're going to fan the F in flames. Here we go. Boom, baby. Give it a good stir. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to stir the hell out of this. Yeah, we got some juice running out, jumping out. It's good for the birds. You know what I'm saying? Those, uh, rookies got to eat somehow. Boom. Putting my heart into it. Boom. A little heart ski for you. You know what I'm saying? Mwah. I put my heart and soul into this but Where's Adam at? I put my heart and soul into this. This is some dry herb. Medley curry. Look at that perfection. Mmm. Delightful. I'm a curry master. Alright. Boom, look at this. Mill curry class. Our Pokemon's HP was restored. Any status conditions were healed. Your Pokemon gained XP bonuses. Broly and the rest of your party got quite friendly towards me. Look at my team being back, baby. How much uh, HP did they regain? Was it all of it? A little bit of the XP. You know, a little bit of XP. No, no, no big deal. There's all those orange berries. I know it was. They're at full HP. We're done camping, and we're done with this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next episode, we're going to go through Route 8. Um, the long journey is still ahead of us to get to Sir Chester, but hopefully we can get there and battle the gym leader soon. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I am the Maverick Mark Daniels, 
been your farewell peace and one love. Bye!